looking at yet another co-opted agency, I guess, or department. This time it's the DOD in their Office of the Inspector General. They put out a report and you were covering it. And it's interesting on their social media, you can see there on the screen just yesterday, actually, they write, due to limitations in the DOD's tracking systems, the full extent of DOD funds provided to Chinese research laboratories for research related to enhancement of pathogens, a pandemic potential, is unknown. So the same agencies that know everything about you and I, basically who we vote for, what we say online, but the same agencies don't know where all the money's going to these foreign countries for pathogen research. Explain for us what's going on. I found that tweet to be remarkable, frankly. Um, so this came out of the office of uh, the inspector general over at uh, the Pentagon. And I mean, they spell it out. I mean, you just read it out. I mean, they admit that they sent money to China uh, for these enhanced pathogens. And that's basically um, making viruses more lethal, that sort of thing that we've been hearing about for these past four years, because um, that is, of course, the most likely path of how we got uh, COVID in the first place, making a virus uh, more lethal. So that's what they're talking about. And this tweet, I mean, you, you, it talks about, uh, well, we Pentagon didn't really track where the money went. <laughs> Well, the, the much bigger question is, well, why was the money sent to China to do this stuff in the first place? I know we're talking about pathogens, deadly viruses, deadly bacteria, microorganisms, in other words, and they just go, oh, yeah, we're funding stuff and we don't even know what that stuff is. It's just, here's some money. Don't kill everyone in the process. Like, sure, of course, I, I'm pretty sure they actually do know where everything's going, but maybe the DOD has its own FOIA lady, like you're alluding to earlier, as the NIH has, where they can just make all this disappear and then they can say, well, we checked our records and there's nothing here. Oh, well, I mean, isn't it strange that we're getting this report after the other week, Fauci was before Congress again. And as you and others were rightly pointing out, even a lot of the Republicans on the committee, they, they didn't press him about his contact with Chinese military scientists. No, they did not. And they, they kind of left Fauci pretty much untouched, which was also remarkable because that's not how they treated some of these underlings. They had this guy, David Morins, come in a few weeks before Fauci and they really hammered him. And Fauci was like, oh, you know, so the, the DOD thing kind of suggests that there's kind of this this wall that we're not allowed to know what's behind it and no one's allowed to ask. And that includes GOP Congress members who were told in one way or another, I don't know how that works internally, but none of them really pushed Fauci on on any of the, the really, really bad issues. And you mentioned, you know, uh, PLA, Pub, uh, People's Liberation Army in, in China. They're, they're, they're one of their chief scientists who was involved with exactly the sort of research that led to COVID, well, he fell off a roof at the Wuhan lab shortly after COVID started, which was always highly suspicious, that whole uh, you know episode. And it turns out that this guy was funded through Fauci and through NIH money. Uh, there's a bunch of grants. You can see the outcomes of those grants. And um, he's the author. And at the bottom, he thanks the NIH and uh, NIA, Fauci's NIH for, for sending him the money. So why on earth are US taxpayers paying this guy. So we're not only talking about the tweet by DOD, sort of generally, oh, we sent some money and we don't know what happened with it. We're talking very specifically, a very specific guy, uh, Zhao Yuzhen over there in China, the guy who's now dead, um, who got money from the NIH, uh, perhaps DOD as well, we don't know, no transparency there. And he was involved, he, he was a PLA scientist. I mean, there's no, this is, <laughs> this is a fact. So, and he was involved in making these viruses. So, I think the, the I mean, all of this is, is terrible, but I think the overall picture that emerges is one that kind of explains to us this cover up, the COVID origin cover up, because I, I guess a lot of your viewers, myself as well, have been asking for so long, why cover it up? The Chinese made a virus. Okay, let's talk about it. And I think we're getting kind of closer to the answer here. I think so as well. Do you think going along that train of thought for a second, do you think it's, it's accurate to say that what Fauci was overseeing, at least in part at NIAID, was bioweapons research, biodefense, they may try and call it. But do you think that may be an appropriate or accurate title for it? And maybe that's, as we're talking about here, why they're, they're so tight-lipped on this.